Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake streams on view. If you have not gone through my recent blogs on the same, how to audit views in Snowflake, I would recommend you to please have a look because I have captured more detail over there. So let's start with the demo. So I am connected with my uh, Snowflake web UI. I am going to create a new database called streams on view demo to capture all the demo. I am going to use the existing public schema and I am going to create the uh, table called employee and a table called department for this demo. I am going to insert some, some dummy data in employee table and department table. And I am going to also create a view which is a join between employee and department based on department ID. So you can see that all the things have been created. Let me see the details once more. So let me go to the open the object navigator, go to the database. If I refresh, I will see the streams on demo views. Under the public schema, you can see there are two tables. One is having two rows and employee table has the another two rows and a view which is having around four columns and it's a combination of department and employee join. Okay. Now if I go and query this view, basically if I want to query this view. So let's go and execute here. So we'll see that how much rows are there. So let me execute this. So you can see at the moment we have two rows and two employee and both employee are working on two different departments. All cool. Now let me create a stream on that view. So to create a stream on a view, it's the same syntax, just that instead of table, we have to mention the keyword view and we have to mention the name of the view, just like we mentioned the table and table name. So if I create, allow me to create and now if I execute this stream I will see no data over here because at the moment we have just created the stream and stream has just taken the snapshot of the current state of the table but now if we start inserting or doing any kind of DML operation on top of this any of the base table it will start capturing the details uh, as part of their join condition in the stream so let's go here and uh, first validate how it looks like uh, because we have just created a table. We have not done any kind of uh, uh, like the change tracking enabled on any of the base table. But the moment we create the stream and if we are the owner of the table, underlying tables uh, as well as the view, when we create the stream, it will allow us to change the or enable the change tracking of the table label as well as on the view level but if you are not the owner of the underlying table then you have to uh, use the owner rule to enable the change tracking of the base table so that your stream can start working on the same unless the change tracking is on your uh, stream will not work properly so let's go and see how we can validate this so if i click on show tables like employee you will see if you go on the end you will see that change tracking is on right which means that the the moment we created the stream on the view by default because we are the owner of the table as well as the view it automatically enable the change tracking for the table similarly if i go and execute the show table like department it is also enabled you can see that change tracking is on Likewise, if you want to see for the view, you have to do the show view like employee detail. And now you will see that on the view as well, change tracking is on. Now we are all set. Now if I query the stream, we will not see any data, right? But the moment I will insert a couple of rows, some dummy data in the employee table and department table like this. And now if I query this table, you will see that I will see a couple of rows. 
now you can see that I have inserted the Raj and Rocky as two table and both the things are having the HR department or IT department right because already one and two department were already there as part of initial setup and now I have inserted another department called HR and now I have inserted two records in employee table one box for the new department which we have just inserted and one is currently working on the existing department which was IT so now you can see that the moment I have created inserted a data in the underlying table based on the joining condition the stream is being populated and it shows that two records have been inserted and uh, both the records details are presented and you can see on the metadata action it's an insert statement because I have just inserted and metadata is update is false because if the mo if I, I go and update the records over here it will give you metadata is update true so let's go and update the department update department set it's a column name hmm. department name so I will just go here and say set department name equal to marketing where id equal to 3 right the column name was department id sorry I will go here and say that where department id is 3 if I go and update one row number of rows updated right now if I go and say select staff employee detail s it will give me some different thing so at the moment I'm seeing the name as marketing because we have done the update in a very like in the same time range and because of that reason it is showing us the delta record of what we have inserted versus what we have updated so this is something which we have already learned in the stream uh, earlier in my previous blog where we have, where I have mentioned that if you insert a record and then update the record and if you have not consumed the stream it will show you the delta effect not the all that all the uh, entries in the stream and that this is what we have done just a moment but if we go ahead and do something once we have consumed and then we do anything it will start giving you the update statement where metadata is update will be true and the metadata action will be update so one will be deleted and one will be inserted it's, it will not be uh, update but rather it, it will be first in delete with the old record and then insert with the new record now let's see if we create a secure view whether the stream will work or not so if we create a secure view out of the same table we created a secure view and now we wanted to create a stream on top of secure view so now if I go and execute this secure view you will see the name of the secure view and you will see that the is secure is also true and change tracking is on so that means that the view is secure and change tracking is also on and if you go and see the stream again so if you go and say show stream like if I execute this sorry I have to mention this show streams like this and it will show me the name of the stream and the source of the stream right now if I want to create a view on top of another view and then I want to create a secure view will that work or not let's see so I am creating a view secure view on top of another secure view so it's first is secure view was created on the employee detail table and now I'm creating another secure view on top of existing secure view so now secure view has been created now I'm creating 
a stream on top of that view so it is also successful and if i go here and show you the view it will give you the detail that the secure view has been created so it's secure is true and change tracking is also on now if i go and say so stream it will see you will see that all the three stream is now currently available for you to see the details and if i start querying this view stream you will see that the delta records are being fragged the moment i will start doing the dml operation on the base table which is employee and department table at the moment if you go ahead and if you query this delta uh, stream you will not see any data because i have not done any changes at the moment for this stream but if you go ahead and execute this stream hopefully you will see the data which we have not yet consumed so this is all about uh, the demo for today and hope you like the demo and if you like the demo please subscribe to my channel thank you